Oh, look, the stag breaker is working. Woo! Almost, almost, almost got me there. Woo! Okay, that was scary. How much before you die? Okay, that's not. <laughs> that's a no go. <laughs> now we can eat meanwhile. Oh my god, how much does it take you to eat a chunk of honey? Oh no. Why do you move around so often? There's another troll right there. Oh my god, there's another troll right there. In the world of stupid ideas, this is one of them. Welcome everyone, welcome back to Hardcore Permadeath. So, uh, <laughs> we're playing on the melee now, so... Uh, yeah, it's been a long time. I've now uh, just had a rather rough little morning here. I'm gonna talk about it in a second. Of course, we're gonna get an event, since we have all the events maxed out. The world settings to my right. Also, I'm gonna show you the stats right here. So you can see the stats. Some of you asked me to show you the stats so you can see the progression of the game. Right. Special thanks to Kate. Special thanks to Russell. So uh, for uh, for actually keeping the channel going and uh, for being uh, by my side at all times. I can say that they're two dear friends. So yeah, <laughs> let's go on with our adventure. The first is moving. Like I said, I had a rather troubled morning because yesterday I just recorded the video where, uh, where I analyzed that uh, those accusations brought against me, right? So the ones that uh, said that... <laughs> Let's just go on with the game and I'm going to talk about it. Just one minute, I'm not going to bother you again. Let's craft the stack breaker. I've been to the dark forest, grabbed some core wood. I've also grabbed a bit of fine wood, not that much because I can't... I really don't like to spend too much time bumping trees one into each other. And uh, I don't want to risk it in the dark forest looking for a boat, since I don't have a bow. So let's get this tech breaker while we're talking. Boom, now we got a better... Oh, so you require bones. Okay. We can do that, now we have a better weapon. Right, so uh, where do I put this? Can I put it here? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. So yeah, about those accusations, uh, this guy just doesn't want to give up on me, so, like I said, <laughs> it seems like his only purpose in this life is to torment me. So, let I'm just gonna let him go for it, I don't, uh, don't want to bother with him too. I have enough uh, problems <laughs> in the game as it is, I don't want uh, hateful comments to become a problem for me too, so we're just gonna let him do his thingy. He's gonna try and accuse me on every single means possible like he already did, I've... I've responded in the video, uh, but that's not enough for him. He just want to keep keep going at it, so it's fine. So let, we'll just let him keep going at it. So uh, yeah, we're gonna do some exploration. I'm not that great in terms of food, so I'm. I'm <laughs> let let me just grab some five extra of each at this point. Where is my honey? So we're gonna grab some uh, extra food. I just want to visit some dungeons in this episode. Grab some cores so I can uh, take care of the grind in the next episode. Because we're gonna do a lot of grinding in this series. I'm gonna need a ton of bronze and that's gonna take me. I'm gonna do that all off camera. Don't wanna waste your time, it's too precious for me, so... <laughs> I really don't wanna waste your time with all the grind. So once I got the ingots prepared and everything else, we're gonna start crafting. We're gonna move on with uh, game progression. Which I think it happens is not super fast. I'm sure there are many skilled YouTubers there who are uh, progressing way faster than I am into into in this game. So, uh, oh, I forgot to bring my bring myself some stones. Oh, let's let's just do that now. Some wood and some stones. I need to block the entrances so I have some sort of a safe spot in those dungeons in case things go south pretty bad. So we're just gonna block ourselves in. Let me quickly grab some stone here. I just don't want to waste too much time about it or on it. But I do need. I do need. That's enough. I think it's enough. For now. 
Oh heck, I just need 10. Wait, what am I doing? <laughs> it's fine. Right, so um, yeah, that's the plan. We're gonna explore some uh, dungeons. We're gonna go into straight into the action. Now, I've been to the Black Forest. Obviously, that's how I got the core wood. And sadly enough, uh, I didn't record. There were two towers that are, got swarmed by the enemies. Sadly, I didn't record that, but uh, there's plenty of adventures to go around into this game, so... Uh, we're not lacking anything in that department. We're not gonna lack anything in that department. I got the stack breaker. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know if this run is even possible without dying. <laughs> we're gonna try. I'm gonna try my best. I don't know. We'll see how far we can go. We can push this. I'd want to get Vistle Razor if I can find any Leviathans around. I don't know. If if I can find them, if I cannot, I don't know. We'll see. Well, let me just go around the coastline here. Those are... Uh, Oh, those are kind of dangerous. Well, let's get back to the... I don't have... See, if I had the Abyssal Razor, things would have been so much easier for me. Yeah, I was sure I was going to get hit there. Well, let's test the Stag Breaker. Oh, nice. I don't think this guy works <laughs> on, the, uh, on this difficulty. Okay, now I have to I have to take them on. Eesh, no, don't. No, don't. Oops. Yeah, so uh, there are plenty of action to go around. See, we just spawn <laughs> into the forest. Let me get my stamina back. We're just here at the edge of the forest and we're getting uh, a ton of action. Come on. Oh, come on. Oopsies. <laughs> Oopsies. Okay, it's fine. So mainly the only reason why I got the stack breaker is because uh, we're gonna train up clubs and we're gonna have high club skills. So these are the two towers that I've already checked, verified. Nothing interesting here, just as you can see a bunch of great dwarves, some flint, some rocks, some tin ore, I've just thrown everything on the ground. And this is the second tower. This one has a Vajas Vajasavir, a boss stone. I haven't looked at that yet. I I don't want to look at that yet. <laughs> I won't, That's not our main concern right now. And there looks to be a third tower right there. Is it a tower? Yeah, it's, I think it's a tower. The only thing I'm worried about is trolls in here. Now, I can go one-on-one -on -one with, with a troll. That's not a problem. I just don't want an event in the middle of it. Because that would be sad. Oh, bones. Yeah, now that we had that taken care of the Ike there, we're going to have a ton of events in here, which is not really smart, but I needed the pickaxe. So we can start the game progression. So we're just going to move here around the coastline. Look if I can find some dungeons that are not that deep in the forest. Maybe we can, maybe we can't. There usually are some dungeons. But I don't know whether we are able to find them. I don't want to go that deep just because I'm scared of trolls, like I said. But there are some skeletons up here, so let me, let's just get the club going. Oh, come on. Even these guys quite pack quite a punch. Come on. Go, go for it. Okay, so we want to do this, huh? Okay, let's do this. Bam! See, it's really worth to upgrade your club. So I think, I think I made the right call there to upgrade this club. Let's get the stamina back. Now we're safe. If you're near a structure like this during the first events that you're gonna get, you're super safe. Let's see. I'm gonna proceed with this guy. So the skeletons are not a concern unless they're swarming you, which is why I brought this guy with us. <laughs> so, again, a one star. This feels like that modded version with a uh, high star enemies. This is how we're gonna do a one-on-one -on -one encounters. We're just gonna go back and forth, rocking these guys up. Ooh, okay. Um. Let me focus here. So I was looking for burial grounds. Can I find any? 
We're kind of deep into the forest right now, so that's not good. Just gonna go here, just gonna look for it, and uh, I'm not gonna be scared. I'm not gonna be too scared of these. Oh, there's one. There's one right there. Okay, we can do that. Just let me check, make sure there's not another one around here. Because I don't want to be swerved by skeletons. This I thought this mound looks like one. Oh, there's another one right here. Oh, goodness. Um, okay. How are we going to do this? Bam! Come on. Oh, look, the stack breaker is working! Woo! Almost, almost, almost got me there. Yeah, the ar this armor is just, um... <laughs> this armor is just a no-go. I just want some quick cores. Now, I might die in here, so we might end the run right here. <laughs> Let's just turn down the SS here. I'm gonna try and be sneaky about it, at least when we go in and before I plant the fires. Let's see here. Are there gonna be any trouble? Troubles? Come on, plant there. Go, go, go. Ooh, okay. I don't want to train the club in here. The only problem with the club is that, uh... Well, I, I can so get one-shotted by <laughs> by an archer. A two-star archer or something like that. I can get a one-shot with this armor. With this armor rating. I don't even have the, the cape with me, so we only have eight armor. Around eight armor. Ooh! Yeah, we're risking it here. What's life without a little risk, right? That's convenient. This is super convenient. Now we got two. I need more. I need definitely more. Hey, come here. Come on. See, the fact that you hit your uh, club into the walls is splitting the damage in half, but we need the club levels anyway. So that's cool so far. Got these. We do need the yellow mushrooms too. Okay, so nothing here. This looks rather, rather sad, like a sad little dungeon. What's here? Please don't don't be anything dangerous right now. I can't deal with any dangers. I just want to grab my armor. And that's a spawner right there. Okay, how do we do this? Um. Let's go like this. Ooh, okay, that was scary. How much before you die? Okay, that's not <laughs> that's a no go. <laughs> Come on. Woo! I keep forgetting that I don't have the troll armor. I'm used to be with troll armor in here, so I think like I can yeah, I can take a shot at troll armor. Ooh, but we got a ton of course. And it was totally worth it. That right there was totally worth it. We got a ton of certling cores. Okay, now. What lies in here? A bunch of goods that I will never use because I apparently never seem to run into the trader on any of my worlds. So uh yeah, that's that. Okay, I uh, just want to go by the fire. Hold on. Just want to go by the fire and. Oh, I think that's the entire dungeon. Oh, let's replenish our health points right here in a second. Whew, that was kind of scary. I'm not gonna lie, that was kind of scary. Just gonna reply to a text really quick here. Sorry about that. Just took me one minute. Okay, so we can uh, we can go on with this. Can grab some stone back, and we can try and explore another dungeon. But at this rate, kind of look dangerous there. <laughs> so <laughs> if I'm gonna make it out of this alive, it's gonna be huge. There was another dungeon up there. Oh my goodness! Playing melee in this is just bonkers. This is just insane.
That's just crazy. Ooh, that's, this is going to get me my heart racing even uh, even more than the Archer one. Well, by far. If I can get them to fight each other, that's going to help me a lot. It's going to help my cause a lot. Oh, there is a spawner right there. Oh, no. Why haven't you... Why aren't you staggered, my friend? See, this weapon is supposed to push them away, but it kind of doesn't. I don't know, maybe they're some somehow resistant. This is supposed to be a huge knockback on this. I also need to take care of that spawner. Oh, my goodness. I need to take care of this spawner. Oh, no. Why are you here? Why are you doing this to me? That's a two-star. Oh, no, we're not doing this. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Let's focus. Eh, eh. We can stay here. I can take care of uh, at least one of these guys. No, 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 no. I don't want the two-star rock to fall on me. <laughs> You're done. Okay, so the stack breaker might be my salvation and my downfall at the same time. Hold on. No, don't want you hitting me, don't want you hitting me. Okay, now we can do this. One on one, come on. Mano y mano, go. Go, go, come on, come on. This guy doesn't want to take any damage. Which is rather concerning. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> go. Come on, come on, come on. Show me those nice blue legs. Where'd it work? <laughs> now we can eat meanwhile. Oh my god, how much does it take you to eat a chunk of honey? Oh no. Uh, that was rather painful. We can do this. Okay, we got it. Woo, we got it. Now I'm risking it a lot because we're just in the beginning right here, so I'm not worried. If I die, just die. <laughs> It's not like I made it really far into the series the last time I tried this. So maybe this is the one impossible challenge that no one can actually do. I would love to see someone try this. I would actually love to see. So melee only. Oh, we go back into the caves. It's not fun to be in the caves. Do I have a choice? There are two skellies right there. And I have a fire right there, and a fire right there. Oh no. Oh, they can come up here! When did that change? <laughs> okay, so they can climb up there. Through the fire. Now they've changed that, because a month ago that was not possible. So they wouldn't climb up there and get themselves burned down. Wow, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Woo, that was intense. Um, I don't know. Should we do this? Should we not do this? What do you guys think? It's just the armor. I'm just worried about the armor. I can't take even one one uh, one arrow. So let's see. I'm just gonna go back to the exit if they're still here. Yeah, they're still here. So we're gonna give this a nice rest. Oh, but I wanted those cores. Okay, let's get back to the base really quick. And we can go, come and uh, try and do this in another go, in another swing. So they're just there. I can't take all of them. I can't take both the archer and the and the uh, the melee skeletons. And this run, if I don't manage to, hold on, let's get the back save really quick. Get the SSEO back. Some of you may wonder why am I saving that much? That's because I live in the countryside right now and. The power goes out from every now and then, and I do have a UPS on my PC, but still, don't want to risk anything and lose all the progress. So uh, I've been here a lot of times, I've grinded a lot of uh, rocks for the base on these cliffs right here. On these slopes actually, these are not cliffs. And I do know my way back here, I don't need the road or anything. I may not be 100% accurate about it, but I do know the road. Right, so whew, that was scary. If I had just a, bit, a little bit more armor, I could have done that. 
So uh, yeah, I don't th I don't know if this run is possible. <laughs> Certainly, it's gonna be fun to watch me suffer and get panicky over a lot of situations. There is no strategy for that type of situation that I got right there. You can't block those. You will get staggered if you try and block those, even with a lot of blocking seal. So, I don't know. I don't know what I should do about that situation there. Since they can climb up, that's that's really unfortunate. We can block those. If I get 100 rocks, I maybe should do that instead. I should block those entrances. Instead of having a fire, or maybe try and have a fire and block them at the same time. Yeah, so we're definitely going gonna go back in there, but we're gonna go uh, piles of rocks. I don't think they require a workbench. No, they don't. Okay, so back to our sa the safety of our base right now. For now, we're gonna sleep on it, and we're gonna <laughs> figure it out in the morning. We do have some uh, 30 bones now, bone fragments. Where am I going? Yeah, it's a bit sad. The entrance is the other way. So we're gonna go through the kitchen, just in case. Okay, quickly repair everything. Yeah, you can use the stack breaker to damage them through the walls. That much is not being questioned. However, you saw what was there. They were just waiting for me to make, make a wrong move. They were just hunting me. I felt hunted down. Okay, so this is how I got a lot of great orb, great orb size from those two towers. Let's drop the wood in there. What else? We got a ton of gold. That again, I'm not gonna ever. I'm not gonna use like like ever. Start piling them up in here. Also, I don't know why I keep gathering the stone. It's not like I can. I'm gonna use the stone. Right. So we can have the circling cores in there. That's fine. Yeah. Let's go quickly. Slip on it and try that again in the morning. I guess. I'm gonna quickly try and upgrade the stack breaker for some extra damage that we might get. Yeah, the stack breaker is not that effective. If I gonna get myself around a structure and try to damage them through that structure, that's gonna totally work. If not, you saw their speed. So this guy, this guy, the stack breaker is supposed to push them back, right? The knockback effect. Unfortunately, it doesn't do that. <laughs> they're too fast. So I'm too slow with it, and they're too fast. That's uh, that's bonkers. On the hardcore, they're super fast. Okay, so let's see what we need for the upgrade. Quickly get this done. Uh, oh, I could upgrade the club. 24 blunt. 26 blunt. Yeah, but this is way slower. So we can upgrade both of these. We can also upgrade the... Yeah, we can, we, we're can. we going to do that. We're going to upgrade the armor. We are going to upgrade... It's 30, right? The stack breaker and the club. I think it's possible. Hold on. Two trophies, one scrap, five. Let me grab all the bones. So it says two trophies. One scrap. Five core wood, was it? Yeah, that mod uh, with convenient crafting will come in handy. Would come in handy right here. So we can do this. We can do this. At least, at least to have them upgraded before we die. <laughs> it's nice to have them upgraded. Ah, uh, okay, so we're gonna need 12 of these. Now that we got some bones. Are we gonna get 8, 12 armor? Let's see. Yep, 12 armor. Still, that's better than what we had. I uh, kinda need a raid right now. Also, I kinda need some stone. Some rocks before we get back in there so I can block those entrances. Because I can dodge around the archer. I can totally dodge around the archer. Hits. I don't know. It was also kind of close. We'll see. We'll see how that turns out to be. Maybe if I can lock myself behind a closed door. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> However, behind that closed door might be as equal, if not many, more dangers lurking around. If we're going to have an event right here, we're going to run for it. Don't want to spend too much time. I think it feels like it's gonna rain. It's raining outside right now at my place, so <laughs> we kind of need some rain. It was a very, very dry summer in Romania. Exceptionally dry. Felt like we're living in Africa at least, so not in Europe. 
was a bit of a drought. A bit of a drought meaning the uh, river that flows both, the ri both two rivers, which are not that large rivers that flow through the village, were, um, were dried up to a crisp. You can see the rocks. I really felt sad for all the fish that were uh, trying to survive in small puddles. Too bad the skeletal remains don't respawn in those. That would be incredibly convenient. We can eat some honey. So yeah, the HP, we're gonna have around 100 HP, so that's okay. We we also need the stamina, we can't play this without the stamina. So we're gonna need the stamina too. I don't know, I don't know what's gonna happen there. I'm gonna try and sneaky, be a bit sneaky about it, just so I can uh, split them apart, because they were, they were everywhere. So I think this was the way I went. Those three, it's, it's, a, diff it's a problem. Whenever you got the archer... Oh, come on. No, I don't want to do this. I wanted to keep you alive. You're a nice, cute boar. Compared to these guys who keeps throwing rocks at me. Come on. No. Bam. Ooh, okay. We can totally do this. Not. Um... I just don't want to have trolls around. Or if I have a troll, just a troll, not five or six <laughs> enemies around the troll. So, yeah, with the rocks, I can't do anything with the rocks. We're back here. This might be a very, very silly, bad idea. But I do hope now that, that after all that time, they might have reset. Look, look how reset they are. Apparently this is a safe spot, so I was right about it. Let's do this! Let's go and dance, my friends. Now you 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 guys went up there, now you can't get off, that's what you're telling me. Come on. Okay, upgraded stage stack breaker definitely is worth <laughs> getting. Sort of say. Okay, so what if I block it here? What if I place it there? I wonder. Oh, they were in here. They were in here. Oh, okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. That makes sense. They were just in here. So you find those the treasure rooms every now and then, and sometimes the enemies are in there. So uh, I'm just gonna wait here for a second for the rested buff because I want to be fully rested before going on. Right. Okay. So yeah, definitely the stack breaker does a lot of punch to <laughs> packs a punch to these guys. Okay, good. We're 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 up, we're up and on it. Let's see. Are we gonna have a lot of enemies? Ooh, we're gonna have it. <laughs> the smart thing to do here would have been actually to hold on. Where are you? To spot this guy's health bar. Come on. There we go. Kookabow. There we go. This is the strategy for this. <laughs> this is just dumb. I wish these swings were faster. Just a tiny bit faster. Come on. Nah. We can do this. We can totally do this. Where are you coming from? Okay, I need to get myself behind this door. Oh, this is super easy. If you if you're gonna <laughs> if you're gonna dub this strategy, this is I'm gonna be super easy. Unless there's a spawner right there, I'm gonna keep farming skeletal fragments. Which might totally be a spawner. I don't know. This is rather risky. I wanna check this first. Okay. Doesn't feel like there's too much here. Is there? I think it's a spawner. There might be a spawner right there. Come on. We got him. 
I just need... Oh, okay, we're, we're oopsies. We're gonna keep all of them. Yeah, there's the spawner then. That's a one-star archer. Can this swing get to him? I don't know how much this door is gonna be able to take swings. <laughs> We're definitely getting to him. One hit from that guy and I'm super staggered. Another hit from that guy and I'm super dead. Ooh, <laughs> that scared me. Ooh, no. <laughs> yeah, there's a spawner right there. Somewhere there is a spawner. And this door may not be able to take that much hit, that many hits anymore. Okay, where is the spawner at? I just know that there's a spawner here. Because they keep coming. Yeah, there's there's a spawner. Okay. So that would have been rather unfortunate for me to stay there and farm all these guys. Oh, where'd you get? How'd you come here? How did you get here? Oh, we're gonna have. Whoa, let's dance about it. Let's just you and me. Come on, one on one. You kind of hurt, but I also kind of hurt. Now I can land the final shot on you and you're done. There. But we're getting certain cores, which is definitely amazing. Uh, I'm a bit still, I'm a still a bit scared. I'm not yet in my comfortable zone, unless I get around 30 certain cores. But once I get there, I can do all my grinding and we can get the better armor. Which will be the bronze armor, obviously. Because I'm gonna need all the armor that I can. The only downside of that is... Obviously, the, the movement bonus penalty. So, yeah, I don't do well when I'm not able to move. We're, we'll see. Maybe we're gonna do the uh, same with the archer. We're gonna have... Uh, but I kind of need the armor, though. No, yeah, we're gonna go for the armor, even if I'm uh, impaired. <laughs> that sounds weird. But, yeah, we're definitely gonna go for the armor. What's behind this door? Happiness or death? Happiness. Mushrooms. We're gonna smoke them away. Okay, so uh, one door down. God knows how many to go. I'm gonna rest again. Oh, come on. Get rested. We're gonna rest again here. So it's packed with action. Super packed with action. <laughs> But we have to get these... Ooh, these look like stone tiles underground, underneath here. Nice. Really didn't notice that up until now. Like stone slabs. Okay, so let's check here. Is it something else in here? There's another door here. There might be enemies. There are no enemies here. Just a lot of gold, which I... Like I said, I'm never gonna be able to use. Okay, so this is the dead end, so this is the only remaining place to go. Come on. Oh, you got me there! Okay, so you're coming here. Didn't know you were having this type of plans. <laughs> uh, okay. Dead end? Dead end looks like a dead end. Yeah, that's a dead end. Now I'm gonna quickly run it for it, we'll run toward the base. We're not gonna risk anything, not in this episode, at least. Although, I would love to squeeze another dungeon. Yeah, we can do that. We can squeeze another dungeon. What are we talking about? We can totally do that. That's achievable. Let's quickly get the SSO back. So, uh... If I can find one, that is. We found, though. I need these. I need blueberries. I need a lot of... And a lot of these. I need better food. So, quickly, we'll go back to the base. And figure everything else in the base. Because I want to get... I want to put as much, as much distance uh, between me and the Black Forest as possible right now. If we're going to get this guy to level 3, that would be amazing. I think I need the adds for this. The next workbench upgrade. Yeah. That's definitely... 
given that you need level two, yeah, I need a work, work level two workbench to craft it. So as you can see, we're I'm just eating as soon as I see their uh, blinking or uh, <laughs> the food items, you know, flashing to my you know, bottom left corner of the screen. We're just gonna pop and eat something, pop a food item. We're not gonna go with a quarter of their uh, use. So when they're at 50%, we're just gonna go for them and eat them. I know that requires a lot of food, but still, it's better to be full. You kind of need your stats to be maxed out at all times. Where am I going? Uh, I don't know this area. I think I'm going the wrong way now. Those roads would have been useful at this point. <laughs> I had such a big mouth like, yeah, I don't need the roads. What would I do with the roads? Is that it? This is my... Is this my area where I... I don't think this is it. Oh, it is it. That's it. Yeah. Oh, we're good. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Okay, we're good. Thought we were lost there for a second. I'd have been devastated. So the reason I went for this small little island is... Uh, I was kind of upset for the fact that I didn't find a good spot for a base on the main land, which is that one. The main continent. Ha! Ah, why? Is this necessary? Kind of need your food and your scraps, though. Anyway. Uh, can I get that deer? There's a deer right there. I'm not gonna do too much of a spear tossing and it's a one star. Ooh. I want that. I really do. And we can get those boar too since we have used some scraps and some food. The only reason why I'm going for these is for the food. Hiya! Bambi barbecue. Sorry. I actually feel sorry about it. Okay, but we're definitely gonna go for those little board there. Pesky little things. They always scare me to death, these guys. When you're running through the forest thinking, oh, I'm just gonna run chill toward my base. They're gonna start... They're... Ooh, oh, oh, yeah, I don't need the birds. <laughs> They're just gonna start their... Uh, scream of death. There is a... Like, Squeaking and squealing and whatnot. There's another deer there. Hey, let's get that too. Let's get some nice cozy hunting in here. If you can call sneaking behind them hunting. <laughs> it's not. I need some more of these things so we can upgrade the deer trophies. So we can upgrade the stack breaker. How don't you how you don't see me? How come you don't see me right here? How come you don't see me? Yeah, we got oh we got one. Cool, cool, cool. Cool as a cucumber. Let's go back to the base. Eh. That's quite a step. That's quite a jump. Oh, we're... we're pfft, everything's happening right now. We're full up on honey. Okay. So that's what you want to do right now. This is how we're going to play it, right? Okay. We can do this. Uh, we These in here and some excess food in there. Good. Let's grab the honey. Honey's important. Everything for the honey. Yeah. This may not be the best idea I've ever had, but I don't have another room for uh, all the honey. Right now, so there is not enough room in here. It's kind of tight, kind of a tight corner base <laughs> going on. We're gonna expand it eventually. No worries about that, so let's repair. Let's just go for it. Okay, now we have some certain cores. I do want to try and find one more. I would love to find one more. I don't think we can upgrade. Oh, we can. Oh, no. Oh, we can have the cape. Hold on. Ta-da. Hey. Any armor is good armor at this point. So we get two extra armor. I'm down for it. Let's go. There we go. I wish the cape would give you some bonus. At least some bonus. Not Nothing fancy or special, but... What do we prior for the stack breaker? I'm 100% sure that we're gonna need. Yeah, level four workbench and a lot of trophies. Okay, so I would love to have eight more. If I can get eight more, we can do this in this episode. We can uh, totally get eight more, or we can die trying. So this is these are the terms at this point. We can either get eight more, or we can, we're gonna die trying. Let's see, what else do we have in here? We can stack these, stack these. 
Oh, we can stack some trophies in here too. Why not? You might need them for the future. Because like they, when they do the, these upgrades, you know, game upgrades, and they come up with a new um, patch or a new biome, the developers always find a way to <laughs> make the game interesting in terms of uh, weapon upgrades and whatever you need to craft them. So you may find yourself in deep north requiring a... Uh, what, what was it called? A, uh, a skull, a skeleton skull, right? To upgrade it. Okay, we're just gonna sleep for it. We're gonna try and find one more dungeon and that's gonna be it. I'm not gonna try anything else until we uh, get better gear. And once I get my hands on the boat, I'm gonna roam around forever, try and find some uh, upgrade for this. The abyss if I can get my hands on the Abyssal Razor, and if I don't do anything stupid, we can go to the next biome easily. So the next biome will not be a problem. But given that I might need to do a lot of running and hiding, I don't know if the bronze armor is going to be the best choice. Now we didn't have an event in quite a while, so... We should have an event right now. Because I don't want the event to start when I'm exploring. Also, I don't want to spend too much time in the base waiting for an event. Wait, well, yeah, that's definitely going to happen. Um, Should we go this way? And if I find a troll in the black... Yeah. <laughs> what was I saying? What was I saying, folks? There it is. <laughs> in all its glory, behold, lo and behold. So I'll be back with you once this event is over. We're just, we're just gonna wait it out. Okay, so we are back at it. Since the event is over. I'm gonna wait one more minute around here or... 30 seconds at least to give them some time to run away because they're all over the base right now. Is it? Yeah, you're still here. Oh, okay, no. They usually despawn from my uh, pit here. They usually go away. They despawn if you don't bother them. Which is rather odd, but I've, uh, I've had a pile of monsters in there. And they just despawned one morning. I was like, I'm not going to touch them until I get my hands on the stack breaker. But lo and behold, they're there. They're they're not there. What am I talking about? <laughs> they were not there. So, uh, yeah. They eventually they spawned, even in that close proximity to the base. So this raid was perfect timing. So it was perfect timing for this... Oh, come on. It was a perfect timing for this raid. I can't talk. I keep rushing, my words come out, but I, they don't make any sense sometimes. Sometimes, okay. Need some stone, some wood, so we can have two campfires. I'm gonna go into this side of the forest now. And try and look for some uh, dungeons, if I can find a dungeon, that is. But I'm a bit worried about the trolls. Because I've spotted a troll cave on this side, so that's... Another reason why I decided to go and check the other side of the forest is right there. You're going to see it in a second. Oh, there. You can see it from here. Right there. Shall we try and defeat a troll? Yeah, we can do that. If it's not the one with the log, that is. Come on. Can I get this guy? Yeah, we can. So now I only have to focus on one of you. Hey. Come on. The way they move around, and because they're faster, it's a bit more annoying than your usual volume experience. So if they're faster, I feel like we need to be faster. So yeah, we're gonna do... Um, we're definitely gonna do the... Uh, come on, is there a troll there? Please don't be. There's one. Oh, we can sneak attack his back with this knife. That's not going to do too much of a damage, but we can do that. We can grab a quick armor here. We can get access to better armor. Just have to wait for him to turn around, because he's going to turn around at the most silly time. 
And if I find myself not able to dodge him, we're not going to do that. Come on. Watch him turn around when I get near him. I could use a sneak attack on him. There's also a Great Dwarf nearby. This is the only stupid thing that happens. Oh, you're going further. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. Before he turns around again, that is. Ooh, that sound is kind of scary. Come on. It's not going to be much of a sneak attack, but still, I'm going to chunk his health really good. He keeps moving around, my god. Why do you move around so often? There's another troll right there. Oh my god, there's another troll right there. Boom! Come on, let's do this, let's dance. Um, I want to do this here, where it's relatively flat. Kind of need a flat area to fight him on. Can we do this here? My heart is pounding. Maybe we should go for this weapon. Yeah, come on. This is the weapon that got me killed last time. Ooh, this is dangerous. Not the time to shake around. Hold on one second. Oh my god, my fingers are shaking and I might actually not press the space key at the right time so I can dodge. Oh, deep breaths, deep breaths. Come on. Ah, oh, no. Go for it. This is easy, come on, go, 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 let's get the stamina back. In the world of stupid ideas, this is one of them. Oh my god, that was almost a bad time dodge roll. Ooh. <laughs> this is kind of silly. Come on, we can do this. Get here, get here, get here. Come on. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I'm shaking. If not for the permadeath thing, this would have been so easy for me. Like, the mere fact that you think that he can end you in one swing is silly. Uh, there's another one right there. There's another one right there, actually. And it has no log, so it's totally doable. Uh, my rested buff, however, is not doable. <laughs> okay. Can I get a rested buff here? If, we, if I could do that. Oh my god, if I can squeeze two trolls at the end of this episode, it would be amazing. I don't know if I can, though. There is not flat enough ground for me to fight them. Maybe I can sneak around that one too. We'll see. Oh my god. See, with the archer, I don't have this problem. <laughs> because I always feel safe since you can stay away from them. But on here, however... Things change. And not for the good, but for the worse. Now he's up on that one. Come on. That's rather cruel. 
Will he be able to spot me? Come on. There we go. Notice me. <laughs> if I can get him here around that uh, structure, it's perfect. I can totally do that. Come on. We can do this on my terms around here, which is relatively flat. I don't ever try to fight him. I have learned my lesson in the last run. Rafe tried to fight him on... Uh, well, not on flat ground, to say the least. Come on. We're gonna swing at me. Throw your rock. There we go. Where are you going, big guy? Come on. Come here. Come with your rock throwing. Rock time. Whoa, I thought for a second that there's another one right there. Oh no. There goes my building. This building is totally gonna collapse. Oh, again with that thing! I hate the fact that he, sw he switches between his attacks so fast. Come on. Rock time. Time to get my stamina as well. Let's go. He's so fast in between these attacks. Rock time. Give me a rock. There. Whew. Come on, one more. I might be insane, I might be insane. Oh my god, what am I doing here? Oh, let me throw away everything, because it don't matter now. Oh my god. Back to base. I'm shaking at this point. I've never been so scared of fighting trolls in my life. It's, my, it's, it's just insane, it's just insane. So like I said, if you're gonna hear any bl being blinking, <laughs> blinking, what am I talking about? beeping in the background that's my ups going crazy because the uh we almost had a storm almost had a storm outside and the power is not at its best right now but it's 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 fine if anything happens i will let you know oh my god oh my god i'm gonna need a vacation after this i need a holiday break <laughs> well this is honestly what I wanted to do. I wanted to risk it a bit, because what's Valheim without risk, without a little risk? What's permadeath without a little risk? <laughs> so my last attempt of fighting the trolls was really bad. This night we got him. This time we actually got him. Now even if he lands a swing on me, I'm not gonna die. Unless he hits me with a crushing blow. That crushing attack is gonna totally go through me. Oh goodness! Oh my goodness! Quickly repair! Quickly build! I was about to say. Oh, we're just in time for another event. <laughs> Would you look at that? We got another event. I'm actually not surprised at all. Given the raids are maxed out. So we, I wanted to make this as difficult as possible. There you go. It is as difficult as it can be. I want to do this. So we can upgrade two of these. We can go for this. We can go for this. This is going to be a huge armor boost. Let's see. So we are at 14 right now. 18. 22. Oh my goodness, so 10 armor boost, that's, that's insane. 
Okay, we're gonna be like this. Oh, look at that mean guy. He's gonna die really soon. <laughs> oh, I'm still gonna die. Uh, I'm, I'm screwed. I'm in danger. I'm in danger. Okay, uh, do I have any mead, stone, miscellaneous, weapons, armor? There we go. Chest for the armor. Always have a chest for your armor. Tools and weapons go in here, if needed. Now, I kind of need to keep all the weapons on myself at all times. Or most of the times. Now, we can go, now that we defeated these those two trolls that were in the way. We can go for one... Uh, oh, we, we can't go for one more dungeon. That will take me too much time. Or we can do that. Let's just go for it. Let's go squeeze up another dungeon after this event is over. So, I'm going to be waiting out this event. We're going to wait it out here. And we can we can maybe squeeze another dungeon. I'm gonna check my time. Hold on, let me see how long is this episode going for. Uh, kind of kind of tight here. We're kind of tight here with the time and everything because I still need to find the dungeon. Um, quickly, let's sleep on it. Enemies nearby. No, they will they will leave if I stop moving. There we go. Yeah, we can let's go for another dungeon, because it's fine. You guys like action and I I'm here to provide action. Now I feel so, so, so much more comfortable with this much armor. <laughs> A super smart thing to do would be to grab me the bronze one, the bronze gear. But it's fine. It's fine. It's totally we can we can do this. We can survive this. What am I talking about? So quickly, I'm gonna run back to the black forest and uh, once I find a dungeon, we can do this like this. If I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut the video, or or not. Well, let's not cut the video. Why would I cut the video at this point? Silly. Let's just go for it. It's just one minute. You can fast forward if you like for one minute. Up until we get back to the troll cave in the forest. So it was perfect that we had that event at the base. Now I'm not worried that I'm gonna have another event while I'm exploring. But this event is not a threat per se, you can run away from it, it's not like it's wolves or something. <laughs> so I also need some rocks. So we can get the... oh, it's perfect. The 10 ra ro rex. <laughs> 10 rocks that I require. Ah, it's fine. We can do this. I keep telling myself that it's fine just to relax a bit after that encounter. <sighs> that was something I don't want to do again really soon. At least not up, on, not up until we get the armor. The armor that I feel comfy with. Okay. So let's see here. Another dungeon. Oh! <laughs> I almost stepped on Bambi. That's some thistle. This is a nice troll cave right here. Can I get another dungeon? My friend, you... At this point, you're not dealing any damage to me. But yeah, so uh, I will I will go and look for um for Leviathans in the episode where I uh, grind the materials for the next level of the game for the progression. So we're gonna grind them off the camera just because, like I said, it's gonna be boring. So uh, let me quickly look around here. A lot of copper here. That's good to know. So right here on this side, we're oh my god, what in seven hells is this? So we quote Game of Thrones. Come here. Line up nice and smoothly there. Oh, this is the sta this is where the stag breaker comes in. Look at this mayhem. Oh my god. Is it over? Oh, it's one more. It's left. <laughs> that was, he moved before I pressed the uh, special attack. Come on. Yeah. 
you're not doing anything, friend. You're stuck. Okay, we did some damage here. Wow, look at that. Let's check in. How many towers are in here? It's kind of a bit of a... Kind of worried here. Let's just bleed these. Uh, I could use the fine wood. At the same time, I don't need the fine wood. I need that wood, though. How many of these towers are here? I need a dungeon. I don't need the tower right now. And that's another one. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! That's another dungeon. That's another tower. And it has another veggies of yours there. <laughs> great. <laughs> okay, it looks like we're farming great wharfs in this episode. Ow. Let's do this, folks. Another advantage with the uh, stack breaker is that you are actually replenishing your stamina. <laughs> is that it? All of you? Oh, that was it? Okay, good. So, which way is the Elder? That way? Hold on. Now, oh, this is another one. It's moving me to my... He panned to the left. Come on. Which one? So that's one. Okay, hold on. That's one. Or this way, it's one, one. And? Oh, I... Oh, there we go! <laughs> Come on, friends. It's time to have the club here. What happened? You stuck or something? Or were you swinging at imaginary friends? So uh, I'm, I'm gonna keep. See, it never pans. Now it, do it now it doesn't pan to any direction. So this is a different one. Was oh, the same one? What the what's happening here? I'm confused. Okay, whatever. That's one direction. So uh, drop this. Drop this. Drop this. Drop twelve of these. And quickly, let's go for the dungeon. I'm wasting time at this point, so it's a good thing that these guys were there. That means there's a dungeon here, and there it is. There's my dungeon. And there's my spawner. Oh, I can use you, come on. Let's actually make you useful for a change. I'm not the problem, friend. There's your problem right there. Oh, definitely the uh, the melee class is so much more fun than the archer one. I'm gonna give you that. It's super fun. Super super fun to play. So um, let's quickly grab these blueberries and go inside and see what lies inside this dungeon. Happiness or death? I have a strong feeling that this is just death in there. Turn up the SSAO. It's gonna be a quick run. I don't want to spend too much time in here, if I don't need to. So there's a uh, an enemy right there, and it's an archer. Okay, so this is the archer. The, the archer went that way. Are there any more? There you go, there's the archer. There's the archer. Come on, you spotted me, come on, come here. Bam. I just want to make sure that this is not a long hallway filled with enemies. And it isn't, so that's that's fine by me. I don't need this, and I can't, kind of don't need that at this point. So we're not going to encumber ourselves with less important items. Well, let me just check quickly here to make sure that there are no enemies around this corner. Okay, so we're good. Yeah, this is doable. We have the door, we have everything. So we're gonna start right here. Can't see anything because of the smoke. Okay. 
there are definitely some enemies here. Make sure you look every now and then behind you. Oh, that's a rancid remains. I know this color. Can you get me through the door? No, only I can get him through the door. That makes sense. Is there a spawner here? Hold on, I need to focus. <laughs> oh, I'm still gonna get you through the door just because that's gonna help me relax a bit. We're also gonna close this door. <laughs> just, I just feel like that's the right way to go here. Oh, there's another way going here. Oh no, there's nothing here. <laughs> <laughs> right, so now we have certainly cores for days. Oh, it's so oh, oh, I feel so I feel so relieved right now. Oh, let me get the torch cuz it's now it's too bright in here. Oh, we have oh my goodness, we have certain cores for days. But I'm still going to explore every single corner of this uh, dungeon. So that's this door. What's behind this door? More death? No, just some uh, bones. So just the symbol of death. It's not the actual death. <laughs> Let me see your HP bar. This is way more fun when I see your HP bar. Bam! So there are three in here. Again, a situation that you don't really want to get yourself into. So thank god for the stack breaker. Okay. There's supposed to be some enemies in here too, but apparently they're not. Yeah. I guess it's just you in here. Oh, it's just you. We're gonna do this the old fashioned way. Okay, there's nothing here left. So let me get back, get the rest of the buff going. And then quickly get back to the base. That's fine. We've just been three minutes in here. We're totally destroying this. We are totally wrecking this thing. Okay, so we do have the stack breaker. Quickly get the buff going and uh, we do have one more section of the dungeon this way. I haven't been this way. And then we're gonna go back to the base and I'm gonna start grinding the materials for the... Oh my god, there'll be a lot of enemies here, watch. And it's a one star or two star enemy right there. Well, that's a two star. <laughs> I'm just worried if it's a uh, another... Ah, oh, we can take him through the door. It's not like I'm worried about this guy. I can take him out easily. It's only if it's a, a spawner or something in here. Okay, so it's another conveniently placed door here. I don't think we need this much of you. Oh, come on. You kind of... I don't need you. I think I need the skeleton trophies far more than I need the... How much is this going? Where are we going with this? Because I keep... I can keep hearing... Like, uh, bones. I can keep hearing bony figures moving around. So there you have it. I can't pick that up. I can't pick anything up. Oh, so they're in here. Oh my god! <laughs> it's an entire family in there. <laughs> it's an entire family. <laughs> I expected to be two, three, but there are like five in there. Oh no! What am I doing? That was super silly uh, for my behalf. <laughs> uh, I hate this. I hate when I have to do this, when I have to give up on items. Where did you go? Is there a... Uh, there, there might be a spawner there. This is good practice to level up the clubs. Yeah, I think that's a spawner in there. Hold on. I 
Is there? Oh, there's no spawner. This is just my friend. Ooh, I thought it was gonna swing at me. You know, we're gonna have mushrooms for days now. Okay, I can't pick up anything else up, which is rather sad because I have all the inventory full up. I have to give up on some items. I really hate giving up on items. I'm gonna stop harvesting uh, feathers because we're not gonna need them for arrows, but I do need them for the cape. But uh, there will be quite some time <laughs> before I get the cape. Ooh, so that's that. Let's quickly grab some honey and go back home. So seven minutes in. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I'm gonna quickly run for it, run back home. Where is my Where is my home actually? This way. Yeah. So that that was it. That was it. Dum diddy dum. That was dumb. That was silly. That was crazy at the same time. I don't know. You kind of fill up the blanks. But yeah. We did it, we got two trolls down, we can have another one in here. I'm gonna take this one out too, because I need the upgrade for the armor. So we're gonna take that one out too. I'm gonna I'm gonna record it. It's gonna be off the camera, but I'm gonna record any troll fight is, is worth recording. I'm sure you you will agree with me. Hey Bambi, you're 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 still scared, yeah, it's fine. But look at that. That building will remain there forever. A living proof that we um we farmed trolls around it. You know what? I'm not gonna even bother with you guys right now. Although I do need their eyes. Come on, come on, time to get some four eyes. Or two at least. Or none. Oh my god, <laughs> that was a waste of time. Yeah, sometimes they actually don't drop any eyes. So I'm really happy that we did this. So it was definitely a good idea to squeeze in the second dungeon. Because now we have Circling Course for days. I know you're upset. I'm not going to bother. I'm, I'm, I'm actually scared of that Grailing at this point. So I'm sure I'm going to have a ton of raids. The way I'm going to do around uh, the Black Forest, the way I'm going to farm in the Black Forest, is I'm going to raise walls around the uh, ores. So we're going to have walls around every single ore. That way, I'm gonna be safe from trolls and from uh, raids, because the only thing I'm worried about is the raids. So definitely, we're gonna have a ton of raids now that we defeated the Ikthyr. So that was it. Thank you all so much for watching. This is what we achieved in this episode, and uh, I'll catch you in the next adventure, which will be either this one or uh, maybe we're gonna defeat the Agloth if it's possible on the Archer. So uh, cheers, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Thank you all so much for watching and for your support. Bye-bye.